Today I'll be reviewing the Garmin Zero C1 Pro Chronograph. Now here from uh, BC Extreme Outdoorsman. Today I have the new Garmin Zero C1 Pro Chronograph. I've had it for about two and a half weeks now, or whenever they first came out, but I just, life is busy, I didn't have a chance to review it. But uh, I also made this little custom rifle mount, Arca Rail, and uh, in the box you get the unit, and basically this little tripod, and that's about it. I don't even remember if there was uh, any paper. I did use this yesterday in a match. I'd never used it before. I just had this, I threw it on my 22 and I got my velocities and uh, ended up coming third in the match. I didn't check it with uh, the Magneto speed or anything, but that's what I'm gonna do today. So I got three different rifles here. I got my Voodoo V22, I got my six mil Creedmoor and I have my 280 Ackerley. So I'm gonna take, well, a couple shots with the Six mil, couple shots with the 280, and we'll see, we'll take a bunch with the 22 as well. Okay, here's the unit on the rifle. Fits on very nicely. Turn it on, you just hit the power, and then it'll take you to a new session. I don't know if you can see that or not. To take it to a new session, then I hit uh, okay. Now I wanna set it up to rifle, hit okay. Now velocity is gonna be between uh, 17 or 5,000, I hit okay. Don't want to hit bullet weight. Uh, I could hit yes, and then I'll just scroll over and I'll go down to 115. I was at 140. Scroll across, I'll go to 115 because I'm going to be shooting the 115 grain bullets. Here, hit OK, and OK. Now it's ready for me to shoot. Uh, the magneto speed is ready to shoot. So, okay, there we go. We're, we're set up. We're ready to go with that unit and we're ready to go with that unit. So we're going to do a comparison between the Magneto Speed and the Garmin. And I can tell you the Garmin, with the ease of how far easy it is to set it up, is just, uh, it's ridiculous. It's, it's a game changer in my books. Uh, I took it to the match yesterday. I actually carried it in my pack all day and it didn't even, I didn't even know it was there with the Magneto Speed. I got this long bayonet and uh, this, this, little modules small but then you got the bayonet which takes up a lot of room and I had to make this custom uh, mount so that I didn't put in my barrel which would uh, change my point of impact so let's take a few shots here and uh, see how she reads okay it's extremely windy like I said but uh, I really wanted to get this review done so there's a paper target that was just out there I'm just going to use it. Twenty-eight fourteen point six. So let's say twenty-eight fifteen says the Garmin, and uh, magneto speed says twenty-eight twenty. So we're only like uh, five feet per second difference. So that one read 28.13 and 28.18. Once again, a five feet per second difference. And this one read 28.39. And the one on the, the magneto speed read uh, 28.42. So that's a difference of three. I think they're really comparable. This thing is so easy to see, so easy to mount. You could actually shoot a match with this thing on if you really wanted to. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. That one says 20. Now, so if I want to review it, I think I got to end it, but it's got the feet per second, minimum, average feet per second, and max. And uh, when I go through and scroll through it afterwards, it'll tell me my SDs and my... Uh, well, just the SDs, average velocity is 28, 22. And here, average velocity is 28, 28, 26, which is uh, a win in my books. I knew I knew once Garmin came out with uh, Cornograph, I knew that it was going to be a winner just because it had that name on it there, Garmin. I have lots of Garmin products. I actually trust my life with Garmin. Awesome stuff. 
So let's try the 280 next, and then we'll do some shots with the 22. Actually, I don't know if you can see that though. Easy to come off. It's off, so. Oh yeah, you can read that in there. So now I'm just gonna hit okay. It's gonna say shot list, summary session, data fields. So I'm gonna scroll down to summary session and hit okay. And there we go. So my SD standard deviation is 12.1, extreme sped 26.5, average is 28.22. Another thing is that I can I could put like my first shot as a cold bore, first shot as a clean bore, uh, et cetera. And it's got four buttons on the top. So you got your okay power and up and down. So I'm just gonna hit or hit the back button, which is also your okay. And I can change all different uh, parameters on there if I want to. Hit the power button again and I'm back. If I hit power again, it's gonna say pause session. So if I want a pause session, I just go down and I hit uh, okay. And there we go. Not falling. So now I'm gonna pick rifle again. So I'll stay with rifle, I hit okay. Uh, same feet per second. And let's enter the weight. It's gonna be 175. So hit okay again and just scroll up. There we go, so 175 green. Hit okay again, okay again, okay. And now I'm ready to shoot again. So uh, we'll get out the 280 and uh, we'll see how it compares to this. Hey everyone, I'm now gonna shoot the 280 AI. <laughs> and it's raining like crazy right now. Actually, it's more like hailing, but uh, I'm not gonna put the Garmin on the gun just because of the recoil. It is quite uh, violent, but uh, I'm gonna put the magneto speed on. I forgot to do that. So I'll do that and then we'll shoot this thing. Okay guys, I'm not promising you a hit here, but uh, 700 meters for the 280 AI is telling me 4.6. I've got 4.6 dialed up. It's telling me to hold like a 0.8 left wind or 0.9. Yeah, 0.9 left wind, but I'm gonna hold like a 0.5. Actually, the, the snow is making it real easy to see. Okay, let's see how this thing reads with it sitting. Oh, not enough wind. 29.05. I was just off the right side. It didn't hold enough wind. So I held right there. So I picked it up okay. That one was 29.08 and 29.06 on the magneto speed. So they're, sh they're showing they're the same. Okay, everyone, I'm just gonna start a new session here with the 22, so I'm gonna... 1,041. 1,040. 1,035. 1,029. And that one was 1,034. So, I mean, it's really accurate. Without uh, wasting any more of your time, let's go back to the house and uh, we will uh, go through this thing quickly where you can see the screen. Okay, everyone, I am back home and I just keep this thing wrapped up in a little vortex rag and I keep this in a GoPro box. So to take it off, I just unscrew it. There we go. Okay, so let's go over what uh, I did today. I don't know if you could see the screen very good. Oh, out in the field. So just press and hold that power button until it comes on. And there you go, you can see it says new session. So if you want a new session, just hit okay. 
I said, okay, now you can, you can choose between, uh, I am right now, I'm on other. So if I go up, I can go to rifle, pistol, bow, air rifle. Uh, the, the reason I went on other is for the 22. So if I go back, let's say I'm going to do a rifle, hit okay. So the speed that I'm going to be using the rifle at is going to be between 17 and 5,000. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to ask me to put in my projectile weight. So let's say I'm shooting the 280 AI. I'm going to hit OK. It's already at 175. And to change that, I'll just hit OK again. And I can change that up and down. I can change it up like to 8. There you go, see? It goes by 10s. And this will go by 1s. And it will go down. So I'm at 175. I'll hit OK. Bring that all the way over. Okay, now, so now I'm ready. Okay, so now I'm ready to shoot, and you can see that I'm connected to my phone, but I am using my phone to video right now, so I'm not going to be able to show you the app at this point in this video, but uh, I will. So if I want to exit out of this, or once I have taken some shots, I can, I can look at my shot list, I'll hit OK, and it'll tell me uh, the list of uh, sh shots that I've taken in order from one. Session summary, data fields... Same thing. Scroll down, backlight, units. I'm in feet per second. If you want to change that, just hit uh, OK. And uh, you got MPS, MPH, KPH. We'll leave it on uh, FPS and I'll hit back. And then I can scroll down. So let's end this session. So I end the session. So today I, t I shot the 280 AI the 6 mil Creedmoor, and the uh, 22. So I'm going to scroll down to history. So here's the sessions that I have. So if I scroll down, I believe the first session here, that's the 6 Creedmoor. So if I want to look at the shot list or delete the session, let's look at the shot list. So there we go. So I took three shots. First one was 2014, 2012, and the last one was 2039. This was a cold barrel, so that could be why that was like that. So if I hit back, scroll back up, hit that. There you go. It shows that my minimum was 2812.8, average was 2822.2, max was 28 point or 2839.2. Extreme spread was 26.5, and standard deviation was 12. So I'm just kind of contributing that to uh, a cold barrel. So if you look on the top here, you can see you got the OK, power, and a, and a back button, then up and down. So if I just hit back now, it goes back to where I was here. Okay, opening up the 280 AI here. Okay, so then we got the session summary and the shot list. So the session summary is just going to show you your standard deviation, your stream spread, max uh, velocity, average, and minimum as well. So I hit back. If I scroll down, hit OK. This is just showing all your, your shots. And you can delete one if you want. It told you the deviation average. So if I hit this, it just gives me the option to delete it. Then I just can hit the back button. So that's pretty much all for the history. Now we can go into settings quickly. Okay, so units, that is for feet per second, miles per hour, kilometers per hour, etc., meters per second. And then I can scroll down and color display. You can go darker the color I'm on now. Set the backlight. Data fields. I'm not 100% sure what data fields are, but I think it's to set what data fields you want after the shot. Uh, pro settings. That is your projectile. It'll give you your, kinet your kinetic energy in joules. And you can also have 
your alignment diagrams on when you turn it on. I got that turned off and I got the projectile weight entry on. So it'll tell me how much uh, energy my bullet has. Uh, language connectivity, that's your phone. Just says pair with a phone. And then reset and then about. So that's about it. Very simple device to use, a very, very amazing device. I trust that name with my life. I have many times before, and as soon as I seen Garmin was coming out with uh, a uh, chronograph, I had to have it. As you know, I have the watch, and I have the um, inReach as well, made by Garmin. Like I said, I've shot a match with this uh, data this thing gave me, and uh, I came in third, so... I, I, when I missed, it was me missing, or the wind. It wasn't because of my elevation, that's for sure. Okay, so this, this that's this thing in a nutshell. The battery lasts a long time, they say. I can't remember what say it, how long it lasts, but this was like three quarters full when I got it, and I've had it for two and a half weeks playing with it on and off, and uh, plus I shot with it today and yesterday, and it's still, I'd say, a little over half. So I'll... I will charge it up, and to charge it up is just right here. I haven't even looked at this yet. Right here, just a USB-C plug-in. Cord comes with it. It's the first time I opened that. And uh, so I just made this little holder. One inch by six inch, three sixteenths piece of aluminum. Drilled, what was it, inch and a half up, roughly. Yeah, inch and a half center, and then here was half an inch up. Installed the Arca rail adapter, which you get on uh, Amazon. I actually tapped the aluminum on both sides and screwed this in. And then, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, I had to put a couple washers under here, as you can see, as for shims, and this uh, half-inch piece of rubber. So it's timed to where I want it. This is for a right-handed shooter. If you want to time it for a left-handed shooter, probably take out one of those washers so that uh, it's tight when it's facing this way. I know they do make a lot of nice mounts, but I've seen the price of those mounts, and this one here basically cost me nothing because I had all this material at home. I already had this piece, and I had this, the aluminum, and uh, it took me maybe half an hour to make. And those other mounts, they're really nice, but uh, yeah, I'm not paying that kind of money for it. So to shut it off, just press and hold. And it shuts off. So that's basically my review. I will do a review on the app. Uh, like I said, I just store this thing. It stores nicely in there. And uh, this thing goes here. I just have this little Vortex rag that I wrap it up in. And like I say, I had this all day with me yesterday. I'll just wrap it up. I had this all day with yesterday with me in my backpack, and I didn't even know it was there. Didn't have to worry about a bayonet or wires or anything else. Just zip it up and good to go. So everybody, that's a Garmin Zero C1 Pro uh, Cornograph. Highly recommend. Amazing product. is a game changer. I can't even sell my Magneto Speeds right now. Nobody wants them. So okay, so that's going to conclude my uh, review on the Garmin Zero C1 Pro Cornograph. Highly recommend. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of the future content. Take care everybody and be safe.